What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to do a partial close. We are basically going to close a position but not the entire position. So how do we do this? We are going to see this right now. The first thing that you have to do, as always, you have to open MetaTrader 5. So here I have it open and now the next step is coming to the IDE. So. What do we have to do now? This is a random bot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What do we have to do now? You click here on new, expert advisor, next. You give it a name. For example, we are going to call it close, partial, or yeah, partial, close, whatever. You put whatever there. And here, you don't tick any of this stuff. This is just going to be a demonstration. So the example is going to be very, very, very easy. So, first of all, let's create a bot that when the bot gets launched, the, a position gets open, a position with one lottage. And what we are going to do is that in the next tick uh, of the bot being launched, we are going to close a part of the position. So how do we do this? That simple. We are going to create the function on init so that whenever we create the bot, we launch the bot, a position gets open. So how do we open positions? Again, that simple. Include, and we are going to put trade, and here trade.mqh, perfect. And now we can create an object of the type trade. Perfect. So now with this object, we are going to be able to open positions, but we are also going to need a variable to store the ticket, the ticket of the position, because this ticket is really, really important. Okay, so now, for example, we are going to open a cell. So for this, we need the bid. And how do we take the bid? You can call this symbol info double. And here you just have to say the symbol name. What do you want? Uh, the euro dollar, the gen, the Bitcoin, whatever. Here we are just going to say that take the current one. Here, with this, you say that, hey, take the current one. Perfect. So now, what do we want? We want the symbol bid. And now, what we are going to do is that this can return a lot of decimals. So what we are going to do is to create, well, to call the function normalize double and say that, hey, just give me these digits, the current number of digits being used in the chart. Perfect. So now we have this. We are going to call the function cell. As you can see, we are using the object ctrade, the trade object, and here we are using the method cell. So we are going to say, okay, open a position of one lottage. This is important. And well, the symbol is going to be the current symbol. The bid is going to be this one. Since I'm going to be using this in a strange market, I have to put a big, big, uh, a big, yeah, uh, take profit and stop loss. Or, yeah, we don't need that. So we can leave this like this. And now we have to save the ticket. So we are going to use the variable that we declare. And we are going to say trade result. And this is not result. This is result order. Perfect. So now here in the trade ticket, we have the ticket of the position opened. So what we are going to do, as I said before, is that in the next tick, what we are going to do is, okay, if there is a position open, if trade ticket is different than, than zero, well, not a position open because we are going to do something else, we are going to put here, okay, and now this is the what you came for in the video. We are going to partially close a position, but this is truly that simple. Trade, and here you call the function, position close partial just that here you send the ticket so we are going to use the trade ticket perfect and here how much do you want to close for example we are using uh, well we created a uh, position with one lottage we can close 0 0.4 so that now we have a position open of 0 0.6 you don't need to send anything there and that's it and just so we don't cl uh, partially close the position all the time, we are going to put this trade ticket equal to zero. So now 
it just enter uh, here once. Perfect, we have this, we save, we compile, we check that everything is correct, everything is correct. We come back to the MT5 and here we are going to test this. So we are going to uh, open the bot, which is this one, close partial. This is the market that I told you, but whatever. And here you just click on start. And now we have to be, wait, give me one second because I have to put this here. Perfect. Okay, this is a stop. And you can see that here we have this operation open of one lotage. But now we are stopped, like this, uh, the, the bot launched and it opened this operation. In the next tick, look at what happens. Boom, 0 0.6. And if we check the history, we can see that this one was closed. It was closed because we opened a cell and this uh, opened a buy to close that cell of 0 0.4 lotage. So that is what we wanted. So here we can see that now the position open is this one, the one with 0 0.6. So you saw that this was truly that simple. And this is how you basically uh, do partial closes. So again, I always forget, but here in the GitHub, you have the code. How do you get here? In the description, you will have the link of this repository. So you come here to trading bot, MQL5. And here you have the bot close partial. So here is the code. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood how to partially close a position. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.